Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Coastal Living. It's Friday Eve, and we're going to celebrate by celebrating the Girl Scouts birthday. Plus, we have a really fun kids corner. We're looking at sporty fashion and we're lunch and local. Stick with us. It's Coastal Living. Celebrating everything the Coastal Bend has to offer. This is a great place to live, so let's talk about it. Get the scoop on the latest trends, popular fashions, hottest music, exciting events, and so much more. Come on, let's have some fun. This is Coastal Living on KZTV. Now your host, Clarissa Serna. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Coastal Living. Thank you for joining us today. We have so much to talk about and a big topic of women's empowerment. It Absolutely. is Women's Empowerment Month. Yes, ma'am. And we've been able to cover it a lot. And I think it's pretty significant that this event took place yesterday. It's important to me as, as a woman and as a mother to know that I can stand up for what's right and to know that it's okay to speak up and my voice will be heard. So yesterday, if you haven't heard already, women around the world gained a little more courage and confidence when we heard the news that Harvey Weinstein was sentenced to 23 years in prison. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> Justice has been served and it's so important. He was obviously convicted for rape and the iconic hashtag Me Too movement, mm -hmm. which fueled a global movement and encouraged women to speak out against sexual abuse. He said, quote, I really feel remorse for this situation. Former Hollywood producer said, I feel it deeply in my heart. I will spend my time really caring and really trying to be a better person. I really hope that that does sink in for him and that he's able to learn and that we're able to use him as an example for men and women around the world to know that we do have a voice. And yep. so do you, men. It's not just women that go through this. So exactly. it's really important. And speaking of women's empowerment, 25 years. I don't know anyone else, but I mean, she's an icon. She does go up there with all the famous people that are just still with us. Selena Quintanilla remains a household name and an icon to so many people around the world. She's a big reason that I started in music. Yes. I used to dance in my folklorical dress and sing her songs to my grandma. She's timeless. Her charisma still shines through her legacy after all these years. And if you haven't heard already, she will be celebrated with the uh, Selena concert at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. So it's moved out there. And that's going to be on May 9th. She's also got a biographical series in the works to appear on Netflix. Yep. Um, there's also a second makeup collection with MAC Cosmetics that's going to be released soon. And even a new album featuring songs recorded by Selena when she was a teenager. I think that's wow. so awesome that after all this time, she's still rocking It's gonna rock be and incredible. Rolling. And I, I've told you this since the beginning, you remind me of her in so many ways. Oh, it's your, you. your voice and your personality. Y'all yeah. are just so much alike. Thank and you. I love that we're talking about this because she's someone that we've all looked up to. Exactly. And I was actually watching um, the movie the other day and every mm -hmm. time I, I always get into it. Yeah. No matter how many times I've yeah, seen it. She just so. has such an incredible personality right. and it's a great example of how to be humble and still successful yes. and awesome for young ladies and gentlemen around the world. But most recently, she's been featured in People and Espanol magazine on the cover of the April issue, which you can catch tomorrow. So if you want to grab a, cof a copy, or a coffee, or both, um, <laughs> it's one of those things you can hang on to, just like those cups. I mean, you know, as our Corpus girl, I think we love and appreciate her a little bit more. Um, we've, she's got a special place in our hearts. So Always. we love you, Selena. We're so proud of you. Yes. And you keep rocking and rolling, girl. You're still inspiring people to this day. Right. So, I mean, switching gears to an unfortunate topic that we've been talking about, mm -hmm. everyone's been talking about the yes. coronavirus. Yep. So, uh, South by Southwest has been canceled, mm -hmm. the Houston Rodeo, and now the NBA mm. will be suspending their games until further notice. So that means no March Madness. God, what a bummer. I, I just cannot believe this. And I also can't believe that Tom Hanks and his wife, Rita Wilson, have been tested positive for coronavirus also. Mm -hmm. They both uh, experienced fatigue and slight fevers in Australia and now are being observed and uh, observed and isolated for as long as public health and safety requires. And they're not, to, they're not really worried about it. They're both receiving excellent care. And um, you know we're still gonna keep them in our thoughts and prayers. He seems very positive and he seems very confident that him and his wife are gonna be okay. And I know his son okay. posted something on social media saying, my parents are going to be fine. He was shooting a movie. Mm -hmm. They were tested positive. Yeah, but you can take the right precautions. And exactly. Most importantly, guys, and we've stressed it, is take care of yourself, wash your hands, and if you do feel any symptoms, just keep yourself away from mm -hmm. the public.
canceled for a while. And for the record, March Madness isn't officially canceled. We're just not going to have an audience for now. We're waiting right. to hear back about the rest of it. Mm -hmm. But on that topic, an expert went on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast and predicted the spread of the coronavirus across the world. He says the pandemic will last six months and a mask and gloves just aren't going to keep you from catching it. So most importantly, it's simple. Wash your hands. You yes. don't need to go buy gallons of hand sanitizer, but just make sure when it's around that you're using it and just be conscious, you know, the gas pump, the doorknob. Right. I mean, everybody's everything. touching everything. Yes. Avoid shaking hands. You can just do like In a gyms especially. peace sign thing. Even at, when I go to church, we don't do, we're not shaking hands. No. We're just doing this. Peace be with you, buddy. Love ya. So yeah, just be aware of your surroundings. And if you do have any symptoms, because it can be as simple as like a sore throat, an itchy throat, a slight fever, right. um, just being tired. So if you're like extra tired, more tired than usual, right? maybe take listen, a personal day. Just yeah, to listen safe. to your body. And I always I always try to stress that. I can't stress mm -hmm. that enough to people. Yeah. And you know, people say, oh, it's so silly. You tell me to wash my hands, this and that. Really, it's, it's crucial right now. Absolutely. You have to wash your hands every moment that mm -hmm. you can. Yeah, definitely. So just be conscious of it, guys. Um, I don't think anybody is necessarily freaking out about it. It's just that we're taking the precautions we need to yes. slow down the spread of this virus. So mm -hmm. hopefully it's gone sooner than later, There's but been for now. There's jokes here and there, but it's getting pretty serious. Yeah. I mean, Tom Hanks and his wife, and mm -hmm. there's also a soccer player, a 25-year-old yeah. soccer player that was tested positive, mm -hmm. so, I mean. Yeah, it's hitting closer to home, and it shouldn't be like, oh my gosh, Tom Hanks, although we all love him. Well said! Mm -hmm. Yes. Has it, so now we've got to, you know, now we're aware of it. We've right. been aware, we know what's going on. Do your part, and hopefully you don't end up with it, but if right. you do, just do what you got to do. And keep thankfully, no, and no cases here in Oasis County. So yes, we're absolutely. Gonna, we're going to keep Let's that keep away going from strong, us. Right. Christine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we really have a great show coming up for you all today. We're talking sports with Alan Harwell. We're looking real sporty with Jocelyn. I'm excited for that in a fashion segment. Plus, we're lunching local. And we have a really fun and simple kids corner with two very special guests that have my heart near and dear to them. But first, we're celebrating the birthday of the Girl Scouts, and we're visiting with a few real-life Girl Scouts to learn about why they love this program so much. And I think they brought us a little treat for their birthday. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's Stick see what with it is. us. We'll be right back on Coastal Living. Check. Coastal living. Hey, hey, check, check. Mic check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yo, yo. Girl Scouts in the house. It's their birthday in the house. Hundred and eight. Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. 
Welcome back everyone, you're watching Coastal Living and we have a special birthday to celebrate today. The Girl Scouts are celebrating how many years? 108. Amazing. So introduce yourself to our viewers and tell us why we're so excited about 108 years. I am Michelle Martinez and I'm with Girl Scouts of Greater South Texas. I'm Julia Gilliam and I'm with Troop 9699. I'm Megan Garcia and I'm Troop with 96009. I'm Aurora Khan and I'm with Troop 96009. All right, and Aurora, while you have the microphone, sweetheart, tell me what you love so much about being a Girl Scout. Um, I just love my amazing friends and just the amazing skills we learn throughout the many years we do this mm -hmm. and just the experiences we get to have. It's amazing. Awesome. And how about you? Why did you join Girl Scouts? How old were you when you started? I started as a brownie, my first year as a brownie. What does that mean? And I eat brownies, but I'm not sure what a brownie oh, is. Oh, right, daisy, I'm sorry. <laughs> a daisy. Uh -huh. um, I was in kindergarten, okay. so that's when I started, and I heard about it from my sister and my mom and my grandma, who were future, who were past Girl Scouts. Awesome. So I heard about all the opportunities I was going to be able to have. So it runs in the family. Yes. All right, and tell me about selling Girl Scout cookies. I know that this is really important to teach you all about mm -hmm. business, entrepreneurship, dealing with customer service and money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what have you learned from dealing with Girl Scout cookies and that whole experience? I've learned um, to tell to get out of my shell and to talk to people and to not be afraid to go up to someone. I love selling cookies. I've sold over a thousand boxes almost wow, every year. Wow, go yeah. girl, all right. <laughs> uh, cookies is definitely one of my favorite part of being a Girl, girl Scout because it taught me to um, be open to people. All right, and what are some of the skills that the girls are learning um, as young as brownies? Yeah, up to where they are now. Well, when you talk about the Girl Scout cookies, yes, we sell Girl Scout cookies, but it's an actual program, and you heard it from Julia herself. Um, there's five skills. I always tell people, don't look on the calorie count, look on the opposite side. So they're learning business ethics. They're becoming entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. um, Girl Scouts builds leadership, sisterhoods. Um, these girls are doing amazing things. Um, the reason why they're here with us today is some of them have received their gold award, which is the highest award a girl can receive. Awesome. Round of applause and for Girl Scouts. Award. So they work hard to be in the community. They give back to the community. Um, so they're doing amazing things. Traveling, mm -hmm. um, traveling the world. We have girls going to San Francisco, India, and London. Wow. Um, some of these girls have been on a quest fest in Georgia, where our birthplace of our founder was. Amazing. So they're doing great things in the community. Very cool. Y'all have traveled more than I have. So that's pretty <laughs> exciting at your age. Now, you all have a lot of decorations on your vest here. We've got patches and pins and all kinds of cool things. Do each of you have one that is your favorite? It's either the prettiest or it's one that you're the most proud of? Well, I know this doesn't really um, count as patch, but it is our troop number. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite because it symbolizes the girls that are in my troop and the connection between uh, me and the girls. So it just symbolizes who we are individually as a Girl Scout. Okay, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> That's so okay. sweet. My favorite, I guess, is my two um, awards, the Bronze Award and the Silver Award, mm -hmm. because it shows how much we made an impact in the community. Awesome, and that's what you got awarded it for. What in in particular? What did you? How did you earn that? Um, me and Aurora and one other girl in our troop, we made um, bedtime bags for Casa. Mm -hmm. So we sewed bags and we put an inspiring quote on them, and then Amazing. we filled them with hygiene products for the kids. Very and cool. Foster system. Good for you. Well, mine isn't as um, important, but it's. Um, <laughs> They're all important. Sweetie. Well, yes, but <laughs> not as monumental. But well, it is. This is the pin we received when we went to the founding house where Juliet Gordon Lowe was born and raised, mm -hmm. and so we actually get to keep this pin, and we got another pin that we can. Hand hand off to people that in, in future for when they go, they trade it in and they get this actual pin. Very cool. Well, you all are obviously very intelligent young ladies, very well spoken. How old are each of you? I'm 16. 16? I'm 14. 14? And 14. And y'all are handling this microphone very well, too. <laughs> okay, and you all have special skills and you have projects. You mentioned that you've sewn bags together, you've gotten to visit the actual Birth woman, place. the birthplace of um, the Girl Scouts. So tell me, is there a particular project that you're currently working on or one that you have in the past that you're really proud of? So one project that I'm working on, I actually got my gold award for, is a show for kids with special needs mm -hmm. through the Nueces County Junior Livestock Show. So the kids are able to show goats and lambs and interact with other kids in 4-H and um, just like a Girl Scout, you're learning scare skills, leadership skills, and I want these kids to learn skills that are important just like us. Amazing, and you all are using your time here very well to let our viewers know about these unique things y'all are doing all year. They don't just sell cookies once a year, you're doing this stuff all the time. How about you, sweetheart? What, a, 
is there a project that you're really proud of or one you're working on now? We, I am very proud of our silver award. This was our biggest one we've done so far. Mm -hmm. So that was really an accomplishment for us. And then we were happy to do it for our community because it was a organization that I had known about but hadn't really been too, too involved with. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, how about yourself? Um, it's, we, we, we work together on that project, and it's not just open to us either. We have to make them ongoing. It's actually open to the community, so if they go to the Girl Scout page, mm -hmm. um, they can actually find our link to the project on how to make the bags, and they can they have the directions how to get to CASA. Awesome. And actually, if they do turn in the bag, um, they can get their own little patch, and they can put it wherever they want. So cool. So you can earn your own Girl Scout patch without necessarily being in the club. All right, and Michelle, just tell us a little bit to our viewers about someone who's might be considering having their daughter or son join the, the Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, um, why it's so important and what it really takes to become one. Sure, if you're interested in joining Girl Scouts, we start at kindergarten all the way up to 12th grade. You heard from these fine ladies. They've been in Girl Scouts for many, many years. And um, they can give us a call at 1-800-477-2688 or visit, uh, visit us on our website at gsgst.org. It is $25 to join. Our year begins October 1st and is September 30th. And as you can tell, they are doing amazing things Absolutely. and it's not just about selling Girl Scout cookies. They are actually making impacts in our community. Amazing. Well, thank you ladies so much for everything you're doing to help our community and for being stand-up citizens. We really look forward to seeing you continue your journey and grow up to be the amazing woman that you're set out to be. Thank y'all so much. All right, now I'm sure they have a little experience in this. Me, not so much, but we're gonna do it anyway. Grab your pots and your tools and all your gardening stuff. We're getting some quality time in with the kids and celebrating spring when we return on Coastal Living. Y'all are so awesome. You're watching Coastal Living on KZTV, the only lifestyle show made in the Coastal Bend for the Coastal Bend. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Dirty. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you say your name and count to ten? Really loud, remember? Brayden, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. Welcome back, everyone. You're watching Coastal Living. I have two very special guests here today. My son, Brayden. Can you wave hi, baby? Say hi. And my husband, Juan. So on the way to work this morning, Brayden said, I'm so excited because the Farias family is going to be on TV. Yay. And I'm excited, too. So we came up with this really great activity. Seems like a common sense kind of thing. And all it really takes is you taking the time to go out and grab a nice little clay pot to paint and a few flowers, which I'm always a sucker for when I go grocery shopping because they bait me right when I walk in. And I always have to grab some. So these are some that caught my eye. Only 75 cents is what we paid for these. The pots are very affordable. Paints, you can use a little kit like this. It's probably available at the dollar store. Or you can grab some fancy paints like the ones I have here. 
And Juan, you're a great artist, right, babe? Yes. Yeah, he's been painting that. his whole life. <laughs> what we're gonna start with is Juan and Brayden are going to start with the painting. And Brayden, what do we have here? Are those your favorite colors? Which one is your favorite? Red and blue. Red and blue. Red is yours and Daddy's is blue, right? Yeah. So what are we gonna do on your pot? Do you wanna do those two colors? Mm -hmm. All right, okay. Oh, it's okay. So let's get this one. <clears throat> he's clumsy like his mama. All right, Papa, we're gonna put a little bit here. I'll do this part. Got a lot of red. Mm -hmm. And we put a casual shirt on him just in case, but we've also got our aprons on. So we've got this and we have some nice big paint brushes. And since I didn't bring water, we're gonna have to stick to one color on each brush. So which one do you want for the red? Not the big one or the little one? Uh, little one. Little one? Okay, that one's yours. And this one is Daddy's. Right. And they're gonna get started on this pot. So you can start with the pot ready? first if you like. Mm -hmm. Okay, start painting half of it. You're red. And of course, you know, maybe a lot of us do know how to pot a flower, maybe some of us don't. So what I brought with me here is some soil, which has been sitting in my garage for a very long time. Because I've had a, this project on my to-do list forever and I just haven't done it yet. So I'm gonna scoot this guy over. We've kind of got a finished product here. So if you want, you can start with the ready potted out. plant if your kid is um, delicate and they won't spill it. Otherwise, we'll pot the plant first. So I'm going to grab a little pot like grab this, it, similar to what bit. they have. Right and what's cool is your, if you your mix brush. your red and blue, it's right, going to make purple, which is my favorite Which color. Right? Isn't that so cute? Your hand. Your hand. All right. So while they're there working on their painting, I'm just going to do the basics for potting a plant. So you want to make sure you have that hole on the bottom. This one still has a sticker. We're going to leave it that way. And lay down some soil for the base. Get some fresh soil. And I'm going to do this amazing color. I don't know what color that is. It's like a pink, crimson, red. I'm obsessed with it. These are called celosia plants. Isn't that pretty, babe? Yeah. And you just want to kind of pinch each end of it. Take it out. Kind of loosen up the roots if you want. You don't have to. Kind of pinch them and wiggle. And then tick, tuck it in to the soil. Let it have a little space to cover it with soil. How's it going over there, guys? Look, you could do big strokes like this. Nice. <laughs> and what's really fun about this is you're able to give your yard you some go. character. It's a great project for the kids because it gives well, them something to, time. one, get out of the house, and two, something to take care of for the rest of spring. So they've got like a little pet, a pet plant to care for. So you want to maybe clearly give them the care instructions, whether it needs medium, high, or low light how much water it needs, and then maybe keep it um, at the exit of your house, the front door, so that whenever you're coming and going, you can note, take note of the plant and see if it needs some love. Now, babe, who's in charge of taking care of the plants at our house? Uh, it should be me, because you kill almost every plant that we own. <laughs> Anybody who watches the show regularly knows that I'm not ashamed to admit that. Um, <laughs> I do have a really hard time keeping plants alive, especially these really pretty ones. I don't know if it's me or the plant. I haven't decided quite yet. But Juan is really, really great about maintaining our plants, knowing when they're really dry and showing, giving them some water. He yeah. kind of does the same thing for me when I'm upset. He's like, you need a hamburger, <laughs> don't you, babe? You're just hungry, Take right? Take Snickers. <laughs> yeah. And Brayden, what are you painting over there? You've got your red on? Yeah. What did you paint the other day when we were painting at home? What do we paint? The truck? Yeah. Remember? Yeah. So that's another fun project for the kids while you have the paints out. Again, I think it's at the dollar store where you can grab these little wooden trucks. There's dinosaurs, there's all kinds of little things, and you get the little paint set. And it's so easy to, like I said, just get them working on a different yeah. project. It's fun. You can do this outside and get some fresh air as this weather gets nicer. And um, really give your yard some character. Pick out your favorite colors. It's something to be proud of, and I think it's important to have art projects like this, things for them to see around the house to say, hey, I did that, I'm responsible for that, right? And so we've got your red going, we've got your blue going, and I think it might be neater and smarter to go ahead and do the pop first, paint it, let it dry, and then plant the flower. Otherwise, you can go ahead and plant it first, and then if your kid is real um, clean, they might go around the edges. But you have the opportunity to do different designs. Maybe I'll do one too, let's see. There you go. Can I do my favorite color? Can I put purple right here? Sure. Awesome. Brayden, what is your favorite thing to do, to play, to have fun? To paint. You like to paint? What else do you like to do? To paint flowers. You like to paint, to plant flowers? Mm-hmm. Cool. Let me scoot this over. Okay. Here. And what do you like to do for fun? Like, what are you going to do today for spring break? Get to the beach. You're going to go to the beach? And what are we going to do there? We can't plant flowers at the beach, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, home. 
Uh -huh. What are we going to do out there? <laughs> are we going to practice baseball? Yeah. And maybe check out the water? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it might be a little cold, huh? So, yeah, it might be a little. It's kind of humid outside today, so maybe not. But we'll see if the weather does us any favors. But like I said, guys, as you can see, I'm over here doing my own little thing. I love purple. If you haven't realized already, I'm always wearing purple. Um, so you've got an opportunity to paint with the plants in the pot or paint separately and plant afterwards. But it's really fun to do with the kids, fun to do with the family, get them off yeah, their I'm iPads outside, getting crafty and give them something to be proud of. Brayden, can you say hi to everybody on TV? Hi. What show are they watching? Just a living. With who? Brayden. That's right. <laughs> say thank you for painting with me. Thank you for painting with me. <laughs> All right, can we show off your artwork? Let's show the people on TV what you did. Nice. Awesome. So you can turn it one way and you have red and the other side you have blue. And then maybe when we're done with the show, we can paint like, um, who's your favorite superhero? Superman. Superman. That's, that's right. All right. So we can paint like a Superman sign on there, right? And it can be your superhero plant. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Say, so we'll be right back on Coastal Living. We'll be right back on Coastal Living. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Stick with us. We'll be back. Good job, babe. Good job, Papa. Yeah. Hey you! Don't go anywhere. You're watching Coastal Living. We'll be right back. Welcome back everyone. All right, so I have five random facts that will surely have your mind blown and might make you laugh. Today's theme is coastal, so here we go. Did you know dolphins recognize and admire themselves in mirrors? Well, that's the type of confidence that I'm talking about. And second, the longest jellyfish on record measured 160 feet, more than half the length of a football field. Can you imagine that? All right, for the third one, shark pregnancies last up to four years, and I'm hoping they don't have morning sickness for that long. That would be terrible. All right, for the next one, shrimp can only swim backwards, and we all know they're, they're getting those back muscles right. They're doing those exercises, and I'm all about that. Next one, fish can drown. Yes, I said it, fish can drown. If there is not enough oxygen in the water and water can run out of oxygen, there are other fish and other creatures that are consuming that same amount. So uh, these fish require consistent intake to survive and their gills absorb the oxygen from the water molecules as water passes through the, gills, the gill membranes of the fish. How interesting and funny is that? All right, well, coming up, we are Lunch and Local with the uh, Coastal Community and Teachers Credit Union. Stay with us, we're watching Coastal Living. You're watching Coastal Living on KZTV. 
Get the scoop on all things local by following us on Facebook and Instagram. We'll be right back on Coastal Living. All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you, Jocelyn, for those fun facts. I learned a lot. Now it's time to learn about where we should lunch local with Coastal Community and Teachers Credit Union. Let's see where we went this week. This is Lunch Local, brought to you by the Coastal Community and Teachers Credit Union. Hey there, everyone. Me and our friends from the Coastal Community and Teachers Credit Union have worked up an appetite because today we are lunch and local at Surfside Sandwich Shop, and we are so excited to indulge into some delicious sandwiches. So let's go see what's on the menu today. and I am the owner of Surfside Sandwich Shop. Um, well, Surfside has been on the island since 2009. Uh, we've had a very loyal uh, following from the, all of our people out here. And recently we shut down and we decided to remodel. And we wanted to do the remodel because it was time and we wanted to kind of reinvent ourselves and give our local clientele just a fresh look We've kept all our same food, all the same passion, all the same love, but just, I really think that we nailed it and we have a great new local place out on the island. So Surfside is actually, was actually our third restaurant that my husband and I uh, built together. We had recently, back in 2007, sold our restaurant in Port Aransas and wanted to go smaller. Uh, so Surfside is what we did. And when we first opened up, David cooked and I was the register girl. And then we moved on to a bigger location of Scuttlebutts, but we always had Surfside. And now, uh, after this, I'm back home at Surfside, which is my favorite place to be. Uh, I love cooking here. I love interacting with our guests. It really is uh, just, it's my passion. And I love being here at Surfside. Our philosophy on cooking, of course, is cooking with love. I mean, that's what it has to be. You have to have that passion and that love for the food. Um, our menu has really stayed the same over the years. It started very small in Hobbs, New Mexico before we moved to the Gulf Coast, and we have just added on to it over the years. So of course we cook everything from scratch here. We make all of our sauces. We make our soups daily. We do our own bacon mac and cheese. We're slicing our meats. Uh, we have fresh seafood brought in from the coast. 
So we have everything from our Baja shrimp tacos, which are super popular, our black and mahi sandwich, our ahi yellowfin tuna salad. Probably our Reuben and our Cubans are one of our top sellers. Um, for me personally, I actually had a family from Cuba visit one time and they gave me the thumbs up on the Cuban sandwich, so that was pretty cool. Um, but really just cooking from scratch and uh, doing it every day. So we do run out of stuff on occasion and I really appreciate everybody's patience with us when we run out of our stuff, because it happens. <laughs> Well, for everyone who is a regular and a fan of Surfside, first of all, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. We appreciate you guys so much, and this is really for you more than it is for us. And if you have not been here yet, please come introduce yourself to our team. Come meet us, because we would love to have you come out to the island. The island has a lot of great places, and we're one of them. So come see us on the island. Well, we want to thank the Surfside Sandwich Shop for having us, and we also want to thank the Coastal Community and Teachers Credit Union for lunch and local with us this week. We really enjoyed the quesadillas, the sandwiches, and even the tacos. All right, so all that food looks delicious. The makeover is wonderful for this spot, and next time I'm on the island, I know where I'll be lunch and local. Up next, we're back with Jocelyn talking fashion. She's going to tell us how we can wear our stretchy pants with style. We'll be right back on Coastal Living. You're watching Coastal Living on KZTV, the only lifestyle show made in the Coastal Bend for the Coastal Bend. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. Now, sports fashion has come a long way. I think we can all appreciate running errands in our stretchy pants. So Jocelyn put together a fashion segment for all of us. It's time for Fashion with Jocelyn. All right, Clarissa, so I don't know about you, but whenever I'm not in my work clothes, I'm always in my gym clothes. My stretchy gym pants, attire. girl, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. but there is a way to definitely wear it with style. Okay. And there's so many great trends that we're gonna talk about. And the first one is track suits. You cannot go wrong with rocking one of these awesome tracksuits. And, you know, she doesn't necessarily have the one that we typically think of. Mm -hmm. I love that hers has a pop of color. 
Yeah. Um, it's all solid black. I love that you can do pretty much anything with these tracksuits and something that is trending right now is wearing these with heels. Can you believe that? Yeah, well, she's wearing it well. I love right, it. Right, right. So you don't have to do a basic tracksuit look. Mm -hmm. um, you can wear them with heels. You can wear them with, you know, accessories. But if you're wanting to, depending on if you're wanting to dress up or not, um, you can either dress it up or down. But in this case, she's rocking it well. She's wearing, um, it looks like she has that backpack. And I, mm -hmm. I always want to add some trendy accessories or an oversized bag. Absolutely. And like I said, Heels are a trend with these. You see the Kardashians wear the, the yeah. heels with these tracksuits. But if you're going for more of a comfortable look, you always want to rock the nice little... Definitely. And Jane Fonda has been rocking the sporty oh, yes. look since we can remember. Yes. So you go, girl. And <laughs> speaking of sporty look, this is a great one. Edgy and sporty chic. This is a great look. And edgy style is all about combining your clothes with accessories and a way to reflect unconventional and different looks and you can create edge in almost anything you wear, and that even includes an edgy and sporty chic look, like something like this. You can add leather, you can add a leather jacket, um, you can add some silver accessories, and um, you know, with the whole look that she has going on here, she can, she's dressy on the top, party on the top, <laughs> casual on the bottom. Yeah, on the top, <laughs> casual on the bottom. Absolutely, so this is also one of my favorite looks. Mm -hmm. It's, um, you know, like I said, dressy, Casual. Yeah, pull out the leather jacket. Exactly. Combination of both. Mm -hmm. So casual, like we were yes. just talking about. Love dressing casual, especially when you're dressing um, with uh, sporty style. Mm -hmm. So this is one of my favorite looks. I love that she added this scarf. Obviously, we're in this. We're going into the spring season, and you don't want to, you know, dress to where you're sweating. But this is just <laughs> a great, great statement piece that she has on there. Um, you know, you don't necessarily always have to rely on these gym outfits, um, but you can always just do like a striped shirt. Um, you can also do like what she has on right here. Such a cute look. It's, it's not very. It cute. doesn't scream sporty, but it just has that type of athletic look that she has going yeah. on with the stripes. And we were talking about stripes being in season for the spring. So mm -hmm. I really do like this one. And I thought that that was a great look too. So I love it. Cause I feel like, yeah, we've all been rocking the stretchy pants for a while with the sneakers, like the, the cliche sporty look, but then now mm -hmm. we're adding the leather jacket or the nice gold exactly. necklace. And it, it kind of justifies you wearing it to more places than just the grocery store. Absolutely. And so this next one, it has a combination of some vibrant and fluorescent colors, which okay. I think is very trendy. And you know, you can always, you can't go wrong with neutrals and you know, fluorescent colors. You don't mm -hmm. want to be too overbearing. This look right here, she has the cute biker shorts. She has the nice oversized jacket, but she doesn't have too much fluorescent, which we always want to steer away from. You mm -hmm. don't want to have too much color or really too much anything. She has a great combination of colors right there within itself. So I think that you can really choose your favorite athletic or sports brand and pair it with just about anything. Just like this right here. I love that she has kind of like a jersey look and mm -hmm. she has that nice green fluorescent jacket as a statement piece and that side bag, she's got it going on. Yes, she does. Very cute. So you're telling me I can wear my husband's firefighter jacket and look yes. cool doing it. Oh yeah. Especially with those leather pants that we're gonna go shop for yes. for you. Wear okay, those girl. leather pants, that that firefighter jacket, and you'll watch, be you'll watch be ready me show to go. up Monday in my sporty look. <laughs> <laughs> and like I mentioned, you can wear your favorite athletic sports brand and pair it mm -hmm. with a pencil skirt, just like this. This is Cute. one of my favorite looks right here. Who says that you can't dress up whenever you're wanting to dress sporty? Yeah, you can add that accessory, just like the hat that she has on. Um, and the heels, such a cute idea wearing Adidas, like a basic Adidas top with a nice pencil skirt and those cute heels. You don't want to do too much jewelry right here because obviously it's such a huge uh, label on her top. Mm -hmm. And I like this one because this is more of a casual look with the skirt. It's more of a simple look, but it's also dressy. And I love that she added some cute sneakers with that. Yep. And you know, really your choice of wanting to dress up or down. And I really thought these photos were just great to relay each look that you're wanting to look Absolutely. To look and can like. we just say that Adidas has made like a very serious comeback yes. in fashion? Like yes. it's everywhere. That's actually my favorite athletic brand yeah. right now. At least the I'm look, always like rocking the, the lead for the stripes, but it's everywhere. So, you know, it doesn't have to be name brand, but I'm sure you can find it out there. Oh, exactly. And it's still so cute and trendy. Exactly. So try some of these looks and I hope I don't get in trouble because on Monday I'm coming in my track suit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, I'll do it with and you. And my high heels, We'll right? do it in our heels. <laughs> okay, we'll think about it. All right, thank you, Jocelyn, for your fashion tips. I know of our course. viewers gain a lot from them and feel Feel just a little bit more confident, a little more pep in our step, knowing that we learn from the best. Thank Aww, you, dear. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, coming up next, speaking of sports, we're talking sports with Alan Harwell. Stick with us. You're watching Coastal Living.
Want to be featured on Coastal Living? Post a pic on our Facebook or Instagram. We'll be right back on Coastal Living. Mic test, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. The women will play on Saturday. Okay. Uh, and they set, they set some records this year, so we can talk a little bit about that. Great. And then, we, can, of course, the big news broke after we talked yesterday about, you know, the, the empty stadiums. Yes. Which is crazy. Mm-hmm. And so now we don't, the games as of now are still going. We just Everything won't have the stadium. I mean, won't have fans. Here. Only essential personnel are allowed, so they're going to be very kind quiet. like our show when we only have two guests. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> like, Anyone? No? Crickets? Okay. So we'll talk all the Islander stuff first, and then we'll Mention Yeah, again. okay. Oh, we've got a long time, so feel free to elaborate. Oh, okay. <laughs> How much time do we have, you think? Seven minutes. Wow, okay, yeah. yeah. And you have video of the Islander women? Uh, uh, Kendall, you've got video of Islander women? Islanders? Yes. Okay. 30. Okay. And then I also have pictures of like the Islanders basketball. <laughs> so what I'll pictures? bring up the Javelinas when she cues me for like two uh, minutes. Of the, I have the picture of Bryant and the coach, like a split screen. Mm -hmm. So whenever we talk about she won the defensive player. Of the okay, game. so when I bring it up, you'll pop it up. Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. Woo! Go team! Wait a minute, the stadium's empty. What's it going is. on? Okay, let's all be <laughs> quiet for a moment. This is what it's going to sound like in the stadiums. <laughs> Except for a bouncing ball. You can hear a bouncing yeah. ball. Yeah. Guys, please welcome Alan Harwell to talk sports with us. Even though we I might know. have some empty stadiums, the show must go on. Yeah, arenas will definitely be empty for all the NCAA tournament games. And it, it's, you know, it's, it's crazy, but they're just trying to keep everybody safe and, exactly. and healthy. I never thought we'd see this day. I where, didn't either. Yeah, I mean, has this happened? Never. No, in, is, in your lifetime? No, I've never seen anything like this before. And. And then the NBA, of course, announcing yesterday they had suspended the well, not the rest of their season. Sure, they're kind just of for in now. a they're just kind of waiting to see how it all plays yeah, out. Yeah, taking so. the proper precautions. Right. Just, yeah, we're exactly. just being safe. Great. So we have the Havelinas. Uh, well, we'll get to the Havelinas in a moment. But mm -hmm. first off, the Islander men lost last night, but they still had a great year. So their their season came we to an end last you. night. <laughs> but the women are still playing, yes, and they're, they're having a record-breaking season. It's unbelievable. Which is incredible. You know, how long have we had our sports teams? Because when I was at the university, I feel like we were just getting started. That was about over ten years ago. Now, yeah. well, it's been over twenty years now. Twenty been playing Golly. Division One sports, but for the. The women, it's been just an incredible year. 23 wins. Uh, they set a brand new conference team record, 17 wins in the Southland Conference. So mm -hmm. uh, they are the number one seed coach, Royce Chadwick and company. They have done just a, an incredible job. But you know, this is a team that was built to win this year. We have eight seniors on the ball club this year. So mm -hmm. if they're going to win, <laughs> they need to win now because yes. uh, they're going to be an awfully young team. But Royce Chadwick has done such an incredible job of recruiting uh, young ladies from all over of the country and they, they've really meshed well. One of the big things they've been telling me all year long is that they just play together. They're a family and yeah, they're very talented, but they get along and they just they just play so well together. Mm -hmm. and yeah, you've got to have good teamwork, right? Exactly. So they will play on Saturday. They are the number one seed in the Southland Conference postseason tournament. They will play a team to be determined. It'll be in the semifinal round Saturday afternoon. 
in Katy. Okay. Again, in that empty arena. And if and when we take the win, yes, we go to. Well, we got to play again Sunday. If we so win Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, we got to earn it. Got to win twice. Okay. And if you win that, then you're going to the NCAA national tournament, the Big Dance. How amazing would that be for our it university? Would be. It's Incredible. never happened before. I mean, we are making history. Yeah. Not for the women. The men have been there, but the women have never. In fact, this is their first conference championship. And it's so. Women's Empowerment Month? Yeah, I yeah. Mean, come on. They knew that. So they, they did. They it's planned all on it around purpose. March Madness. Yes. Plus, definitely. there's a certain player and coach who are receiving special recognition, right? As of yes. yesterday? Yes. Alexis Bryant uh, announced that she is the Southland Conference Defensive Player of okay. the Year. And she's a senior, so this is a, a great way to finish off her career. And then Royce Chadwick, for the second time, has been named the Southland Conference Coach of the Year. And again, uh, he guided the, uh, uh, the team to a 17-3 and record. Again, that's a school record for most wins in conference play. So he has built this team to win, and they are doing that exactly. And they're healthy. That's the other thing. Mm -hmm. He's had really good teams all the year, but they have key players get hurt. This year, where's the wood? Knock on wood. We're around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got, we don't but, want to jinx but, it. <laughs> but, they, but they have stayed healthy, and, and everything has gone really well. Awesome. So what does it take for a university like ours to become one where people really aspire to come because of the sports? I mean, is it this recent accomplishment that our women's basketball team has had, or does it take quite a few for someone to say, man, when I grow up, I want to go play basketball for the Islanders? Well, I, I think what they're doing this year is going to make a lot of young ladies who are going up through middle school and high school right now. In fact, the Islanders have done a really good job of recruiting locally. Uh, good. Of late. So, I love that. Yeah. We're all about local, man. Exactly. That's so, great. And, and the men, same way. So. Yeah, and the men have, have been doing great. We just didn't win yesterday. So. Yeah, it was kind of a, an, a, an off year for them, but uh, they, they're a young ball club. they got a lot of good players coming back next year, so we're optimistic. Awesome. All right. So, guys, sports, we still support you all. And then what about the uh, Javelinas? You mentioned Javelina men. Beautiful, wow, right? what a year it has been for Coach Johnny Estelle and his Hogs. They have just done an incredible job. They are the number five seed in this week's Lone Star Conference South Regional Tournament. And that will be Saturday in Canyon, Texas. That's okay. up in the West Texas area. How do we watch these games? Are we? You can see those games if you go to uh, the uh, Javelinas website. Okay. You can watch those games free through the Lone Star Conference Network. What about their audience? Are they going to have a crowd? Or no, the they, they announced, they followed suit yesterday. They announced late yesterday that there will be no fans allowed uh, in, in Canyon, which is awfully disappointing for all the fans in Kingsville who had planned on yeah. going up there. To but watch we the will game. have the camera crew there, which means you get to watch live, which means, yep. you know, and we're taking those precautions too for the teammates so that they don't get sick and they can continue to play and keep yeah. winning. That's true. And, and Jeff Dubroff will have coverage of, of both the uh, Islander women and the Havelina men on Saturday. All so. right, so, I mean, we know who you're rooting for, but who do you think is going to win these weekend games? Well, I really think the Islander women will win the conference championship, postseason tournament championship. Mm -hmm. I, uh, they're just too dominant. The, yeah. the, the Havelina men, they've, they've got their work cut out for them. I think they can beat, they play Angelo State on Saturday. Uh, they can beat Angelo State, and then we'll see what happens. they got to win three games to go to the next round, so. It's nothing. I know. Nothing. We got this. <laughs> tell that to coach. <laughs> right, we got you coach, we, you have our support. Exactly. And last but not least, tell us why you think it's so important for our Coastal Bend community to support these sports, these players, and how can we do it? Well, you know, we have so many alumni from our area that mm -hmm. went to these schools, both uh, A&M Corpus Christi. Yep. I'm, a, I'm a Texas A&I graduate. All right. Uh, still say A&I, you know, A&I proud. Mm -hmm. And we just got to support our local universities because they put so many, they put so much money back into our community. And again, a lot of the players on these teams played here, so mm -hmm. support local. Absolutely, and encourage your young sports involved children oh, to yeah. aspire to grow up and stay local and participate exactly. in sports here if they can. That's awesome. Oh, without a doubt. And uh, we just finished with our local high school basketball. We had a, so a lot of really good teams this year. Yeah. Unfortunately, no one made it to the finals tournament. But still, I mean, we had we've had great years, and we have great baseball teams and great softball teams playing right now that I think will go deep in the playoffs. All right. uh, later this spring. Okay, so we'll have to talk more about that yes. with your next visit. We got some possible state champions out great. there. Definitely. Yes. All right. Well, we look forward to hearing about it, and hopefully, some of your kids will be featured on our show because they're just that awesome. Thank you, Alan Harwell, All right, for being awesome. Go Islanders! Go Havelinas! Go Islanders! Go Havelinas! And go Coastal Ben! We are rooting for you. Now we're wrapping up the show. When we return, you're watching Coastal Living. Woo! I go the back. You're watching Coastal Living on KZTV. Get the scoop on all things local by following us on Facebook and Instagram. We'll be right back on Coastal Living.